technology. And it gives us a great look, a good real time look at uh, changing conditions across the area. And we're getting that right now. Here's Highway 280. Not much going on Chelsea on Northwest, but we run into this. It's not a huge storm, but it is a very heavy thunderstorm. And just at the wrong time of the day, it is now entering I-65 and Highway 31, that corridor between basically the city of Birmingham and Hoover, most concentrated around Hoover, Homewood and Vestavia right now. It is pouring down rain. And that's not the only thing with this. It is loaded with cloud to ground lightning, as you can see. So a lot of people hearing the thunder, a lot of people seeing the lightning, a good time to be indoors or in a car that has a metal top on it. That's moving on eastward now. That'll be getting to Highway 280 fairly soon. Again, it's not going to rain real long with this because it's not real big, but it's going to come down very, very hard in the core of this thing. As you can see, the heaviest rain now just about getting to Vestavia along Highway 31, already entering the western part of Lakeshore Drive conditions there, traveling conditions going downhill here over the next few minutes. There's the overall view. The original band of rain was up north and it's fallen apart. It's gone. So we're dealing with the southern one now more broken up into pieces or sections. One over southwest Tuscaloosa County, one now over Jefferson County and one showing up in northeast Shelby County. But still where it is raining, it's raining very hard. Here's this one mostly south of the city of Tuscaloosa, as you can see around Ralph and Foster's and Mountainville too. fair amount of lightning with that one as well as it approaches Highway 69. Kind of a stormy start to our evening. I think this stuff will wind down fairly quickly. Not much left beyond about 730 or 8 o'clock overnight. Very muggy conditions could be a few sprinkles or light showers across the south late tonight. All right, taking you through the next couple days, we start off around 6 o'clock. This model suggests heavy downpours between Jefferson and Shelby. Then as we go forward, though, by the time we get to 830, as you can see, hardly anything left. Looks like it disappears like magic. It may not happen quite that smoothly, but I think that's the trend as we go through the later evening hours and overnight, mostly just clouds, maybe a few sprinkles across the south. But during the day tomorrow, more showers and storms will develop coverage probably a little bit less than we're seeing today. My forecast for tonight, evening storms, then later on, maybe a leftover shower, a low temperature about 67 degrees. Could be some patchy fog late tonight. For tomorrow, a warm day and a humid day, perhaps a little more sunshine than today, but still scattered thunderstorms, mostly during the afternoon. Seven day forecast ditto marks for Thursday and Friday about the same story. If anything, the rain chances may increase a bit this weekend. Then we think finally maybe some drier air comes in early next week. We might actually have some genuine sunshine by about next Tuesday or so. Guy and Lisa.